remove the wheel. You don't necessarily need to remove the wheel if you can access the mount, but we're gonna remove it for video purposes and it'll be a little bit easier. Take a 22 millimeter socket, remove the lug nuts. Take the passenger side wheel off, use a 22 millimeter socket. Pull the wheel off. We're gonna remove these bolts right here. There's three right on top. It's kind of hard to see. Use a 15 millimeter socket. Just gonna get them all loose first. Pull those bolts out. Now you don't wanna take that bolt out. You can use a long extension from the wheel well on the passenger side. And get it loose and just pull it out. Right there. And then the mount is loose. Just like that. Disconnect this connector right here. Just push down on the tab and slide it out. Just make sure you plug it in when you're done. I'm gonna move my screw jack support to right here on the frame because we're gonna take these cradle bolts out. Use a 15 millimeter socket. Take these two bolts out first. The other side. Use an 18 millimeter socket. Take these bolts out. On this side, it's still attached to the exhaust. That's okay, that's just gonna hang there. This one's gonna come out completely. Slide it down. Very carefully and slowly, lower the cradle down. You can't go too far because of the steering intermediate shaft. You don't wanna go too far. Just about an inch, that's far enough. And grab the mount. We'll just slide it carefully this way. Coming with the bushing side outwards. And just get it past the steering boot. And slide it out, just like that. Now slide the new one in, same way it came out, upside down. And carefully slide it down. You're gonna have to twist it a few times. And slide it into position. Now slide the cradle back up. Put the bracket in. down, make sure the bolt's not touching on the bracket, otherwise you're going to get a noise. Now I can lower the pole jack, move it back underneath the transfer case. For that bolt, if you can get a torque wrench in there, you want to torque that to 74 foot-pounds. Now we'll tighten these three bolts down, make sure that is flat on there, which it is, it looks good. Tighten these down, and if you can torque these, you want to torque these to 42 foot-pounds. And remove the pull jack. Install the front wheels. 
put the lug nuts on. Now you're going to torque the lug nuts to 140 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Go around again, double check. Do the same on the other side. 